There we go. Okay, cool. Now we can unmute. And now, let's go. Let's go into the discomfort zone. You're going to want to click, click game. There it is. Hey, this is... <laughs> Why do I look so tan? This is really weird. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm so tan in this in this universe that we've created for ourselves. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Discomfort Zone. I am your host, Jay Light. Joining me over behind me. I'm not going to turn the camera around, but maybe he'll come say hi in just a minute. It's Tyler Mesnerich, my producer. Tyler. Hey, Jay. Hey, how's it going? How's it going, everybody? This all the discomfortables. Is that what you call them out there? Discomfortables. Yes, discomfortables. I think, I think that fits. All right. Yeah, well, let's call them the discomfortables. Right now, we got three, three exactly three discomfortables in here in the zone right now. Oh, we don't have Ter Terrence isn't playing yet. I would I I have a feeling Terrence might call again uh, this week. Terrence is currently our most consistent competitor here in the discomfort zone. We've changed our look up a little bit, as you can see. Now we got a chat box, so we can see you as you're talking to us. So say some stuff, and you'll see it on screen. And that way, if, if you watch it back on YouTube later, you will also see what's going on, whatever people said stuff. Because sometimes they make references to people in the chat, and who knows what it means. This is discomforting. Exactly. It, w it works. We did it. See? Achieve achievement unlocked. Is that how it goes? Yeah. I don't know. This is for gamers. We're unlocking achievements or some shit. All right. Anyway, the discomfort zone is a call-in show game show where you get to call in and you're going to tell us all the stuff that you did, uh, and and we're going to plumb some dark depths. We're going to try and win, hopefully, fabulous prizes like this today. Your prize, which I will mail to the winner, is a shirt. Look at that. Oh, this is a nice polo shirt from the before times uh, when I used to audition for things. And I had to have a black polo shirt in my car because I got called into audition to be a black polo shirt wearing man a lot of times. And, uh, and that doesn't happen anymore because we don't drive places anymore. So it doesn't even doesn't even happen ever again uh it is a banana republic luxury touch size large shirt uh, but it fit me fine and i'm not a size large man so don't worry about size take it you can you can put it look at you could you could probably put this in uh in some sort of a golfing attire wardrobe huh this is where we need like a vanna white tyler come be my vanna this beautiful shirt See, look, Tyler's holding it up, and Tyler's head is almost half of the size of that shirt. I am a large. Tyler is a large. So I'm a large. That fits you. Look at that. That's what it looks like on a man. That's what it looks like on a man. Tyler wins. Well, he doesn't win. No. Large man. Tyler's just a large man. And Tyler is, unfortunately, disqualified from winning the prize because he's my producer. So you can't win. How many times I got to tell you, you fucking idiot? You signed up for this. You knew you were getting into. Um, we have a phone number you can call in if you want to compete. Uh, the phone number is right there on the screen. 8188-REGRET is 818-873-4738. It flashed away right as I was able to actually know what it was. Oh, such a shame. I got it right. 4738. So call the number now. The lines are open. You know, if you want to try and win, the first question you got to answer to get past our little screening process is what is the biggest mistake you made this week? And I guess we can say since the last show. So what's the biggest mistake you've made in the past couple weeks? And uh, once you make it past that, then... I guess we should say uh, we were talking beforehand about what our big prize question would be today, right. what our main competitive round would be today. So what do we want to go with? We want to go with uh, it's Groundhog Day. It's Groundhog Day, yeah. Is there ever been what's the worst thing you what's the worst thing you did more than once? Oh, that's good. Yeah. What's what's something that you regret doing, but then you did it again? 
Yeah. And you still, and you, then you regretted it again. Yes, that's perfect. Double regret. Double regret. Double regret. We'll even take triple regret. Uh, we'll totally take that. I've I've done plenty of of uncomfortable things, so I think that this is perfect. Uh, I've done. Oh man. Stuff that I've done that I felt uncomfortable doing, but I did it again anyway. So when I was a single boy, when I was a single man, I made many mistakes in this sort of realm. Uh, one of the things that I did was I... <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this on the air, but I'm doing it anyway. So I one time went out uh, with a lady who we'd met on Tinder. And uh, I was... Uh, I, I did the bad... Man, bad, the bad man thing of not calling her uh, back or texting her. I didn't ghost her uh, exactly because we just both kind of like fell off communication. Um, but it was a more on me as I learned when she talked to me about how uncomfortable she felt later on uh, by us not hanging out. And she told me this while I was like drunk on a sidewalk and I was apologizing to her because I was like, she was really nice. And I was like, I just want to make this work. I'm so, I, I, I do like you. You're really cool. I want to see where this goes. I'm intrigued by this. And then she invited me to an improv show that she was doing, uh, which I went to. And then I, uh, I had to leave the show immediately. I don't know if this even counts as a thing that I did multiple times that I felt bad about, but I'm going to tell the story anyway because it's uncomfortable and I think we're just going to lean right into it. Um, so she calls me. Have I don't know if I've even told you this story before, Tyler. So I go to her. She, t- she tells me when this improv show is. I go to the improv show. Improv show, as most uh, class improv shows are, very bad. Um, and she, uh, she was good in it, but I had to leave right after to go do another show to actually perform on a show. And I wanted to try and like catch her and say bye, but I didn't, uh, because I, I, I tried to like wait in the lobby for a second, but I was going to be late if I, if I didn't wait around too long. So then I left. Uh, and so that was the most uncomfortable thing I did was, leave immediately after a bad improv show uh, and hopefully not make this girl think that the reason that I stopped officially stopped calling her and trying to hang out with her was because she was a part of a bad improv show. I feel like that's maybe one of the worst. Let's that's that's one of my top five worst things I've done involving a woman. And that's on the low end. Jay coming in with a no but. Oh, God. I no butted her very bad. I no butted her so hard. And that's the thing is like, this is the perils of like trying to date somebody who does any sort of comedy is if they wind up being very bad and you find out about it early on, you either got to just stick with it and lie or you have to get out of there and never speak of it ever again. Um, That's the truth. That's just the facts of the matter. These are things that I've learned over the course of my time here. Uh, anyway, I can't win a prize today, so go ahead and dial in the number uh, again, 818-873-4738. You could win a shirt. We don't have any callers on the line, which is the most uncomfortable part of this episode of The Discomfort Zone so far, but we have plenty of time for people to call in. Tyler, you got something to say? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll say the thing. Come say a thing. Come get on cam and say a thing. We're going to cam. This is our OnlyFans moment. All right. So what was it? Is uh, you regret that you did, that you do again? Yes, that you did that you did it again. Oh, definitely when I was uh, growing up religious. I was Catholic growing up, and I mm-hmm. uh, I definitely jerked off a lot. And that's like you're <laughs> definitely not supposed to do that. You're definitely that. not supposed to do that. The Catholics all hate jerking off. I always felt bad about it afterwards. Yeah? Like you're like, you're like I got it. Like, I, what am I going to do? Buffy the Vampire Slayer is on. <laughs> What do you expect me to do? Who did you jerk off to in Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Oh, man. Well, that's Buffy, obviously. Obviously. But not just Buffy. Well, yeah, that's why I ask. Uh, uh, the character Faith, played by Eliza Dushku, joins okay. up. And uh, I, had a big, I was a big fan of that. Yep. Yeah. Big boner fan of big that. Big boner fan. Yeah, big boner fan. And what else did you, who else did you jerk off to Allison Hannigan? What was her name? Oh, I don't remember her name. Willow? Willow. That was her name. What about the other Willow? Cord- Cordelia? The guy from... Uh, uh, Xander? No. I'm talking about the, the gnome, the the dwarf man, the, the little dwarf. person. 
The dwarf a, yeah. in a movie called oh, Willow you're talking from about, Steven Spielberg. You're talking about Willow. You're talking about what's the guy's name? Why can't Warwick Davis? Warwick Davis. No, I have not jerked off to Willow or Warwick Davis, but I do think there's a tit in Willow. There is. I think there is. Now that's uncomfortable. I'm pretty sure there's a tit in Will- Willow. Have you? Uh, you? I've never watched Willow before, so I don't know where the tit would be. It's a very uncomfortable movie. Uh, we should watch it in a little movie club. Oh, I like that. Uh, but ugh. I do not want to watch it again. <laughs> but no, I have not jerked off to Will, but I did jerk off to uh Xena Warrior Princess. So Okay. But not to Lucy Lawless, to her like her short blonde haired companion. Here's a question, Tyler. Yeah, what's the ahead. most shame what's the most what's the thing you've jerked off to that you're most ashamed of having jerked off to? Oh wow. Yeah. Um oh. Um Okay. I actually do know this because Sean started watching it again on Netflix. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh, the Team Rocket from Pokemon. You jerked off to well, not the team. I to, mean, just to just, Meowth. No, not to Meowth. <laughs> no. No. I don't know their names. Jesse. The one in the crop top. Jesse. Yeah. It's Jesse, and then James is the dude, and the and also the Misty girl. Oh yeah. Well, everybody was in love with Misty. So that was like you can't not jerk off to Misty. You know that was a, that was that was eighth grade. That was seventh or eighth grade. Sounds about right. So a lot of shame, a lot of different kinds of shame. That was Catholic shame, jerking off to cartoon shame. It was a whole thing. I I've never jerked off to a cartoon, but I have jerked off to people's Instagrams. See, I can't do which that. which I feel uncomfortable about. See, I can't do that. Because, like, <laughs> it's like a minute long. <laughs> well, you don't have to watch the video. <laughs> you just look at the pictures. I mean, I don't know. Tyler. I just don't feel... I'm like, you know what? I'm already, like, halfway in this thing. Like, I'm already, like, on a computer or a uh-huh. phone looking at... I can just go a step further and just get real pornography here. Yeah. The thing I always... I see there's always ads on porn where you can jerk off. Oh, we lost all of our viewers by talking about jerking off cartoons, by the way. Hey, listen. Maybe you guys would have stuck around if you tried calling the video. The call of the number. 818-8-REGRET. It's very easy to do. Now it's just going to be... this. The show is just going to be an hour of me and Tyler talking about jerking off. And it just became a podcast, which is what it is. But call in. I mean, if I... If I don't have to give away the shirt, then that's fine. I don't mind not I don't mind not giving away a shirt, but I would rather give away the shirt. I would rather give the shirt away as a prize to somebody who hold on. I'm going to move over here. I want to give the shirt away as a prize to somebody, all right? I want one of you to win. But here's the thing, Jay, if nobody gets a shirt and it fits a large person and there's a large person right here, I feel like I should get the shirt then. But that, see, Tyler, that would be the most uncomfortable thing of all would be to not give you the prize if you won, which I think would be the ultimate thing to do for this episode of The Discomfort Zone, which is, by the way, for sure the most uncomfortable episode we've had so far. We do already have uh, Waddles Barkley, who said this is discomforting. Good job. Waddles, I don't know if you're still watching, but I'm glad that we tickled your, your discomfort bone. Tyler. Yeah. I'm, okay. a, I'm a fan of Waddles. I'm that's a fan a good, of Waddles. That's a good name. It's a good name. Waddles Barkley. You're still here. What's up, Waddles? Waddles. Why don't you call in? I want to hear what you did. What did you do? What's the mistakes you made? Call in the call in the number. It's right there on the screen. I maybe you, and listen. I don't want to give Tyler the shirt, but I will do it. He will do it. I will do it. Yeah. You're too embarrassed. No, it's okay. <laughs> this whole premise of this show is you're going to get embarrassed. You're n- we're all here, and you're faceless. There's no way that you could beat me jerking off to multiple characters from Pokemon. Yeah, and there's no way you could beat me jerking off to a lady who does a bunch of voices on Family Guy who I met one time at a comedy show. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> That's almost worse, is like jerking off to someone who just does voices for the cartoon. Ugh. No, thanks. Well, we we talk about my, Mila Kunis. That's fine then. Well, Mila Kunis is different though. Yeah, because Mila Kunis is an actress. She does other stuff. She was in Bad Moms and a Bad Moms Christmas. Waddles Barkley, just call in. We don't have to. We don't even have to use your real name. All right. We we're the real boys here. We're the real guys. Yeah. You're faceless. 
You're nameless. We don't know who Terrence is. Terrence called in a few times ago. and uh, Dangerous guy, Terrence. Very dangerous. Ta- Terrence uh, fucked up on the Capitol riot. Yeah. And then he also, I hope he's okay. He's missing toes right now, right? Yeah. Well, I think maybe he's going to the hospital. Maybe he's going to work out. I, don't, I, I can't quite remember. He had a lot of issues, that Terrence guy. Terrence had a lot of issues. I hope Terrence is doing okay. I would wonder. I would love for him to call back in. Yeah, it'd be fun. I wonder where he is. Yeah. I bet you he's at the hospital. Oh, yeah. He could be at the hospital. Or maybe he's in recovery by now. I is mean, it's it, been two weeks. He's got a wife. Maybe they're watching a movie or something. Do you think he still has that wife after that show, though? I don't after know. After that whole fiasco where he bet on the, the presidency? I'd stick by him. He'd see interesting. I guess. I'd I tune guess. in. Um, I think... I I really want somebody to call in. We got two people watching now. I would assume Waddles Barkley is still watching. You can call in. It's okay. You can go by Waddles. We know who you are, sort of, just because you're the only person who's still watching here in the chat who said anything out of the second person who hasn't said anything. <gasps> He's calling. Oh. oh, my God. Tyler, hop on that call screen, Wayne. Get over there. I'm going to mute your mic for you. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm so excited. We have somebody who's calling in. We don't know where he is. Or she. Where they are. I don't wanna I don't wanna gender Waddles Barkley right off the bat. This is the ASMR portion of the show. So I think this is how ASMR works, is I just kinda I whisper here into the microphone. And we see what's going on. And maybe somebody somebody comes in and they do like a prize and they win a prize. I should have tagged this as ASMR. That's what I should have done. Everybody would have known. Oh, we have a caller. We have somebody who's ready to play the game with us. We have somebody here who's going to play the game. You send them in? Throw them right in. Hello? Send them. Screen. You have to host room. Host room them. Tyler doesn't understand how this works sometimes. No, no, no. You click, Tyler, you have to click host room. And I'm going to click talk. You just cl- send them right through. Oh. oh, can you hear me? Yes. Waddles Barkley, is that you? Oh, it, it is me, Waddles Barkley here. Hello. Hold on. Let's make sure Tyler, Tyler, change the name. Waddles Barkley is here competing on the discomfort zone. Waddles oh, Barkley, <laughs> you're now playing. Welcome. How are you? Oh, I, I'm all right. It's, it's very flattering that I'm part of this competition, you say? Yes, you could win a prize. You could win this large shirt that I have. I found in the trunk of my car. <laughs> I'll I'll yeah. wash it for you. Um, you know, you don't you don't have to. It's optional. It's all good. We're gonna. We're gonna figure it out. We'll we'll see. Let's see how your story goes. Because right now the person to beat is Tyler and his story of jerking off to Misty from uh from Pokemon. But Waddles, first, before we even get to any of the things, the things that you might have done multiple times, I do want to hear what is the biggest mistake you made uh, so far this week. Oh goodness, where to begin? Um, so I like to do a little bit of cosplay, so kind of like Halloween, but instead of it only being during October, we do it. Uh, the, the rest of the year. Okay. That's what the whole COVID thing. What else are you going to do? Anywho, right. I thought of this innovative idea of being a a character from, like, uh, Magic the Gathering. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with that. I used to play Magic the Gathering growing up, but I haven't played it in a number of years, so I don't know what the lore is fully these days. Oh, don't worry. I lost track of the lore. But All right. Anyway, <laughs> there's this really cute character that I really like, and I gotta look up the proper name, but it's one of the newer decks, especially if you go into the arena online. Okay. Anywho, long story short, it requires me to, um, blackface. You have to do blackface? (laughs) So you did blackface for a cosplay character. Yes, it's really embarrassing. Oh boy, that gets some points for sure. Doing blackface just just for a cosplay character. Oh man, um, I like. I hope it pays off, though. It uh, <laughs> of course it's going to pay off because you know what? 
you just made it to the second round. Bla- I feel like blackface is an automatic 500 points, which is the max you can get All in the right, first awesome. round. So good job. Um, what Tyler's yeah. going to have to do is you just got to just drag it. Just Nope, nope, don't do that. And just grab nope. it and just move it over to the left. Grab. Yeah, there nope. we go. Why don't you move Waddles Barkley's name over on fully more on the screen too? Nope, that's not <laughs> that's not it either, Tyler. You just click uh, click Move it now playing. Into his face. There we go. See, Tyler figured it out. Tyler's smarter than we give him credit for sometimes over here at the Discomfort Zone headquarters. Okay, so <laughs> for those of you who might just be joining us, uh, we have on the line Waddles Barkley, who has done blackface in order to uh, play a character uh, for cosplay uh, effectively. This is great. <laughs> adorable and i wish i looked like her <laughs> i i'm so this is i mean that's the exact same thing that uh what's the president what's the prime minister justin trudeau that's what he probably said about wanting to look like aladdin for his halloween party but hey you do you you do you waddles uh yeah, we do what we do. <laughs> so okay wait a minute actually now i have a follow-up question that's not related to the game um are okay. you so you're part of a cosplay group? You said. Uh, uh yes, I am. Okay. Has anyone else? We don't in, have a name yet, though. Has anyone else? So, have you posted this this look to the group? Have, have they seen you in blackface now? Uh, maybe one person named. Uh, we have a person named uh, Joey McSmelly. Okay. Um, and <laughs> I mean, he, he was pretty neutral about it. Pretty pretty neutral about blackface. I mean, I guess that's kind of... I, well, <laughs> now that I think about it, now that I think about it, he was over in D.C. maybe a couple of months ago. He did mention about Nancy Pelosi and being on her desk or something. I don't know. Oh, boy. See, there we go. This makes this makes total sense. Uh, Joey McSchmoey and Terrence are probably friends. Yeah. Should have known. Now that I think about it. Now that you just, no. It just makes sense, I think. <laughs> so, all right. Yeah. Don't just make... Oh, yeah, okay, you got more questions. Sorry. I do. I have one more question, um, which is, is this the first time that anyone in your group has ever done blackface to play a character, to do a cosplay? Or are you breaking new uh, ground here? Oh, I'm trying to think back. Um... I think as of recent, I'm the first, but I'm sure <laughs> there are pictures around. With I mean, parents. that's hilarious. This is great. This might. This is. I'm so glad that you're our first caller because this is truly fantastic. This is a great story, and people should be ashamed that they're not hearing about you. Sound like such a sweet human being, and then you're just like, "Oh, we're blackface just for this, just to play a character." Well, to be fair, now I'm seeing that I am the only one watching the show, so I may have scared out your, your audience. It's all right. We're going to. Uh, this will be on YouTube eventually after the show's done. So oh, hey. Boy. <laughs> Okay, so following up, Waddles, you still have a chance here of winning the big prize. Um, And what we need to know, as you well know now, is what is the thing in honor of Groundhog Day uh, that you regret doing, but you also have done it multiple times? Like something you felt bad about doing, and then you're like, oh, and then you did it again. Um. Well, this one's a little bit of an easy one. Um, you know when you groundhog in the bathroom? With a, with your poop? Yes, number two. Okay, I heard it's I've heard it's a turtle heading before, but a groundhog also makes sense. Yeah, but the thing about uh, oh maybe maybe it is the same thing because it's like when you when you try to push it out but it won't, so you have to bring it back up and then it just. Constantly do it. Okay. Um, I've heard. See, I've heard turtle heading. <laughs> I've heard turtle heading where it's coming out and you have to like try and hold it in. But groundhogging sound like it's the opposite, where you're trying to push it out, but it won't all the way come out. It's much more forceful. Yeah, it sounds it's like. A bit of a, it's a little bit of a faster pace tool. Okay, I see. This makes sense. All right. So what happened? What did you do? Well, uh, 
I was at a wedding one time, and I had to use the bathroom, and I thought maybe I can groundhog for a little bit. It was kind of comforting, so I, maybe in the forefront of it all, I probably should have saved it until I was back at home. But you just you, you did you, the poop didn't finally come out though. You just let it. You just held it in and, and groundhogged it. Yeah, I groundhogged it for like I'd say like a half an hour. Uh, they were doing the reception and all that stuff, so I thought I could get away with it. Why would you groundhog uh, during the reception? Just go poop at the at the where where was what? Okay, where was this wedding at? Where did it take place? Oh, it was somewhere in Massachusetts, I'm sure. But I, I mean, like, not. like was it at a hotel? Was it at, like, a botanical garden? Like, most wedding venues have bathrooms that you can use. I don't think I've ever been to a wedding where, like, you had to go take a shit in a field. Oh! Oh, well, okay, hang on. I'm not, I'm not an animal. I mean, there was a bathroom there. I was going to fall for 30 minutes. <gasps> well, then, okay, so you held it for 30 minutes. You didn't get up during the ceremony. Up. They were doing the bridesmaid thing. They were just talking about it. She was just starting to cry. I felt uncomfortable, so I thought groundhog time. Oh, boy. And you held it for 30 minutes. Yep. Oh, my God. And when I came back out, to be fair, when I came back out, the bridesmaid was still talking. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, no, this. so this is at the reception then? Or is this some? I'm. I, oh, my, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I See, I thought this was during the way. ceremony. Okay, I thought you were. I thought you were trying oh, to hold in a shit during the wedding ceremony. Now that yeah, she you probably really blacked it out of your memory. <laughs> 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 um, okay, oh, that was. I mean, all credit to Tyler on that one. Blacked it out. He gets it. Yeah. Tyler knows. <laughs> um, okay, Waddles. So let me get the. I just want to make sure all I get right. the order of events right here. Okay. So it's a reception. Right. Bridesmaids doing their speech. Yes. And it's so long, but you don't want to be rude and get up and go take a shit in the middle of it. Well, I did anyways. But you did. Well, eventually. Uh, yeah. It was, okay, I turned it out a couple of times while I was sitting down, and then it just got so intense that I needed to use the bathroom. Okay. That's fair. You know what? I mean, that's... That's like a tri- that's like a tale of of triumph, you know. That's like you overcoming the odds, and you and I, I you definitely like you put yourself in an uncomfortable situation, but you managed to power through, and that I think is really that. There's like some merit. This is a this is like an honorable, uncomfortable story that you've put yourself in. Absolutely. Yeah. I know it's re- it's 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 it's. It's a thing. It's rare. This is like this. This is hitting a nice overlap of something that I don't think we've had yet on the discomfort zone, which is a story that you can feel proud about telling even off of the discomfort zone. Like, don't tell anybody about the blackface oh. thing. That's bad. Don't tell okay. anyone. We're okay. gonna keep yeah. your. Oh. <laughs> we're gonna keep your your pseudonym on here, so don't worry. Nobody's gonna know that you did blackface except for the people who you cosplay with. But you can tell people all about the time that you held in a shit for thirty minutes to be polite to somebody. Thanks for a good story. Um, now, as far as the story, I see that my username will be on display because you said YouTube. Uh, now, what will happen with that? Uh, what will happen with that? Yeah, <laughs> is my name going to be on display? I mean, I can blur it out for the, the YouTube version if you want. <laughs> <laughs> is I'm this sure that the, the, the algorithm would not like it very much? I feel like well, they're not gonna know that it's you. I don't think we'll figure something out. Well, uh, I I know how to I know how to work my way around a little blur tool in Final Cut. So don't you worry, Waddles. We got you taken oh. care of. Um, okay, okay. I'm trying to think. So this is like. So here's the thing. So far, for precedent wise. The winners last week, we had joint winners with Terrence and Chris with a C. And we had Waddles Barkley come in just now with a very different kind of story than what Terrence and Chris both had. Um, and then we had Chess Devil, of course, the first week, who also had a poop-related story. Chess Devil had wow. diarrhea and was calling us on the phone while he had active diarrhea. Um, Ooh. Yeah, it's a bad way to call in. But I'm trying to yeah. think. So, so Chess Devil managed to succeed because he still told us his uncomfortable ga- uh, conspiracy theory stories. Here, Tyler. Tyler's going to come on and confer. 
Waddles, we're going to keep you on the line because this is this is what we need to we did, we're going to all confer here and figure out how many points to give you. Okay, Listen, okay. Usually here I'm all a team right. player, you know. Uh, right. I will say that uh you know, I'm 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 on I'm on team collar. There's only one collar and it is a large shirt. And I did <laughs> say that I wanted it because I am a large man. And so I feel like uh because there's only okay, one collar good. that this Waddles character should just beat me. I feel like I can come up with something better than this groundhog thing. I feel like I, could, I got I regret plenty of stuff. Okay, well, but you already told us the thing you regret. You already told us what your answer was, which yeah. is jerking off to Pokemon, which is not honorable. It was not. I didn't know I was trying to be honorable. Uh, you don't have to be honorable, but there's something yeah. endearing about Waddles that they're that the quality that you don't have. Uh, that's true. All right, fair enough. I scared off all Waddles. your viewers. That's, I mean, that's that's an impact right there. No, we scared. I think we scared off all our own viewers. Nobody wanted to hear me talk about the sad stuff that I've done, and also nobody wanted to hear Tyler talk about cranking it to Xena Warrior Princess. I mean, plenty of people on the internet want to hear that kind of stuff. Well, then you should have shared it to them. Maybe they would have watched the show. Um, here's what we're gonna do, Waddles. Uh-huh. I have, a, I have an idea. So points wise, we're gonna give you. I'm going to give you 300 points, which will put you solidly above Terrence and Chris with a C. You will have 800 points. You'll be in two. You'll be in second place on our leaderboard overall. Um, Yay! And what we'll do, we'll 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 fix your name for uh, for YouTube replay purposes, just to give you a little peace of mind. And even though I'm going to be saying your name a bunch, so it doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> And I got super excited. Oh, yeah, no, that's. We, my I'm so sorry, Waddles. But this, but the good news is, right now, I mean, you're still up in the pole position, and we have still one viewer, and you're that one viewer, and you're here on the line with us right now. Um, I yeah. mean, I'm totally comfortable, frankly. I think we, we're, we're probably not going to have enough time, even if we did get another caller. To have somebody call in and and potentially win the prize from you. So, Waddles, I think you're this week's winner. Yay. Yeah. Hold on. I'm going to play. <laughs> there we go. You just got a, a round of applause from our studio oh, audience here. Oh, I thought here. it was rain. I need I to get a better rain. sound effect here. <laughs> Waddles, you're our winner. You won with your tail, yeah. mostly with your tail of blackface. Your poop story also fun, but it's the blackface that really that really did it for us. Um, oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. How can I compete with blackface? You can't. You just can't compete with blackface. And I will say that this. Wait, oh, what's who up? Is the Who's the what? Oh, fear Fierce sauce. sauce. Oh, Fierce. hello, fear sauce. I think we know who Fear Sauce is. Fear Sauce hates Tyler. Fear Sauce has shown up before. Well, I think, I mean, Waddles, I'm still going to call you the winner here early. I don't think we have, like I said, I don't know. I don't think we're going to have another caller in time, but we're going to go ahead and pop you down back into the queue so you can get Tyler your, uh, your, the mailing info for your shirt. And, uh, and, and thank you so much for telling us your tale of, of blackface. That's, Ah, oh, it's so, mwah, it's so beautiful. It's such a great, uncomfortable Wait. story. Enjoy the shirt. It is. Thank you. Thank you. Stay on the line. We'll be uh, right back with you soon. Okay. We're popping Waddles back to the queue. Hello. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Waddles Barkley did the damn thing. Good job, Waddles. You win again. This sweet, sweet... Shirt. Oh my goodness. A shirt fit. It's a black shirt for a lady who did blackface. Well, I don't know. A person who did blackface. I don't, again, I don't want to gender anybody. Somebody who did blackface is winning a black luxury shirt, luxury touch. And that is better than anything else that we could have heard from anybody this week, I think. Um, I mean,. I guess that's it. Tyler's off collecting addresses. I'm going to mail this shirt off. We're going to call it a little early tonight. Um, If you are still watching, by the way, thanks for checking it out. 
Go ahead and uh, if you feel like it, donate to the Pack at Pack Theater on Venmo. Thank you so much to the Pack Theater for hosting. Uh, sign up for improv classes if you too want to go watch a improv show and then ditch a woman who you're dating, who you met on Tinder uh, in Zoom this time instead of in person, like me, who uh, was a piece of shit when he was all of 24 years old. I think so. Sounds about right. Um, I've been Jay Light. I continue to be Jay Light. Tyler's off doing some crazy shit, and I don't know what's going to happen, but we'll talk to y'all soon. We'll see you with more discomfort zone back in a couple weeks. Stay uncomfortable. I got a burp. Oh, God. Oh, no.